everyone, my name is Anagha and I'm part of the data science discovery team and in this video today we're going to be talking about quartiles and outliers. So um, the, the question is, suppose I took a random sample of these uh, nine students and asked them how many hours per week they spend studying. So here's the data that's collected and we basically want to find the following statistics which include the median, uh, the quartile one, quartile three, as well as the IQR and the number of outliers. So Yes, you could do this, um, you know, by hand using the formulas, but you could also use pandas and you know Python to to accomplish the same task. So in this video today, I'm going to be discussing um, the the way you can do it in Python. So uh, I you know I have a Jupyter notebook pulled up here, and basically what I want to do is first you know import the correct libraries. Um, in this case, we're going to be using pandas. Yes, there's other ways to do this, but I just thought that this was the easiest um, and used a library that we were already familiar with. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these values. And first, I'm going to make a new data frame. So I'm going to do df equals pd dot data frame. And then basically in these brackets, I'm going to put in my, my values. So now when I output my df, this is basically what comes up. So we just made a data frame right with these um, specific values here so now let's go ahead and find the following statistics so to find the median um, you can just go ahead and I guess I can do this on the other cell so we can just do df.median and it shows that you know since this is the only column we have the median is going to be 10.0 and when it says data point or the data type is a float that's because 10.0 that's like decimal value it's a floating point number so um, that's that just shows the data type of the median so the median here is going to be equal to 10 so I just want to go ahead and put that in and that is correct so now we just want to go ahead and find the quartile 1 quartile 3 as well as the IQR and the number of outliers and this can all be done using uh, using Python and, and pandas as well. So this is how we found the median. Now to find, um, I'm just going to move this here, to find the, the specific quartiles, you can do df.describe, which will basically show the, uh, you know, descriptive statistics for your entire data frame. And in this case, since we only have one column, that's why there's just one column with all of these different descriptive stats. So we can see that the Q1 here is 9, right and so we can see that the q1 is going to be equal to nine that's represented by the 25 percent that's quartile one and then q3 is going to be uh represented by that 75 percent that's 11 so then our iqr is going to be q3 minus q1 which is going to be um which it's just going to be two right so let me just go ahead and print this out here and that's um you know, that, that's our values for the Q1, Q3, as well as the IQR. Um, now when we want to go ahead and find the number of outliers, remember that the formula for finding the lower bound for our outliers is going to be our Q1 minus the uh, minus 1.5 times our IQR. And then <coughs> our upper bound is going to be Q3 plus 1.5 times our interquartile range. So I just want to go ahead and, you know, we can even do this in Python. We could just define these variables. Our lower bound is going to be a Q1 minus 1.5 times our IQR. And I can use these variables because I've already defined them up here. So make, make sure to, you know, run this code before you run the ones for finding the lower and upper bounds. And then finally, the upper bound is going to be Q3 plus the 1.5 times the IQR. So now when I go ahead and uh, print both of these out, lower bound and my upper bound, I get my lower bound is six, and then my upper bound is going to be 14. So if I go ahead and look at my you know, data frame once more, in order to find the number of outliers, it's just gonna be any values within our you know, list of numbers that we got that were less than six or higher than 14. So I can see here, um, there don't seem to be any values that are less than six, and then uh, there don't seem, to, actually there's, there's one value here, 17.5, right, that is greater than 14. Um, so I guess we have one outlier then. So we can go, go back to the question, we can put our uh, numbers in. So it seems that our quartile one was nine, our, our Q3 was 11, our IQR was two. So this was nine, 
this was 11, this was 2, and then finally the number of outliers we had, we um, calculated the lower and upper bounds, and there was, there seemed to be one value that was, you know, greater than our upper bound of 14, which was uh, actually 17.5. So we go ahead and submit all these. You can see we got them all correct. Um, I hope this video was helpful in providing, you know, uh, I guess a faster way of calculating these common statistics. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.